these shipping costs are absolutely out of control. Hello everyone, I'm Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I teach you how to make candles in your own kitchen. So today I wanted to chat about a subject that I have been struggling with and I'm sure many of you have also been struggling with it. It's actually one of the number one reasons why I stopped selling candles. And that is shipping costs. Not only for the supplies, of my candles, but the actual candles themselves and shipping them out to customers, the shipping is just completely out of hand and outrageous. I went on the website that I normally purchase my candle supplies from and a 50 pound box of wax was going to cost me $64 to get it sent to my house. And then if I decided I was gonna buy in bulk, because let's be honest, how long is a 50 pound box of wax actually going to last you if you have an actual business? So if you bought it in bulk, say like five, it was $790 to get it shipped to your house. That is insane. And please, if you are someone that knows how to get free shipping on wax, please share with the group because I have tried every which way to get free shipping on wax and I cannot seem to achieve that goal. I am able to get free shipping on fragrance oil from Wholesale Supply Plus, but not wax. So let's just break this down a little bit. So say I mail out an eight ounce candle, which I actually just did. For wedding gifts for my guests for coming to my destination wedding, I mailed out eight ounce candles to all of our guests. Now, a lot of them were, I would say, only a few states away, but we did have to ship some to the West Coast and I live on the East Coast. So each candle cost me about five to seven dollars to ship for an eight ounce candle which is not even for the ones that they sell in stores. But let's talk about the ones that they actually sell in stores. So if you go to say Marshall's, you can find a 20 ounce candle in a very gorgeous jar with luxury branding for $12.99. I was selling my tin candles for, for an eight ounce candle, it was $14.99. So if the shipping was $5, let's just say that, it would bring that candle to almost $20. Insane, for an eight ounce candle. So a candle that you can buy at Marshall's, two and a half sizes bigger, it costs you less. <laughs> no wonder small business owners are one, not making a profit, and two, not able to keep up with, say Marshall's TJ Maxx or Bath and Body Works or any of the big brand box stores. Now listen, I will make another video on the profit margin of candles because that's a totally other subject. Another reason why I stopped selling candles was that exact reason. The profit margins are just slim to none. All right, so let me tell you about what I've been trying to do or what I was trying to do to cut down on shipping costs. So my local candle supply store is two hours away. So it's about 77 miles. So round trip, we're looking at over four hours if you say you stop for, you know, gas, meals, bathroom breaks, stuff like that. It would cost me about, I have a truck, so I would buy in bulk. Um, it would cost me about, I'd say, $40 in gas to get to and from. And so when I say I buy in bulk, I was buying all of my wicks that I was going to need, all of my wax, all of my stickers, like and tins, I have boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. And you know when you sell candles and you have to keep your supplies in a climate controlled area because you can't just like throw it in the attic or throw it in the garage or throw it in the basement because when it gets hot, your wax will melt. So you have to keep it in a controlled area. So not only was I needing to store this, but I was needing to buy in bulk so that I could save on the shipping costs. Now, I realized that $40 in gas, you know, it's only $20 cheaper than having to uh, get the box shipped to us. But let, let me remind you, I bought in bulk. So that $40 in gas and I bought five boxes, and remember what I said, five boxes, five 50 pound boxes from Candlewick was gonna cost me $790, which 
blows my mind. I realize that wax is heavy, especially 50 pounds, but it's just not sustainable for a small candle business. Not only that, but if you think about it, it was a full day that I had to drive up there. Yes, I realized it's only four to five hours, but if you four to five hours, if you put in your meals, like I said, tolls, everything else, it ended up being like a hundred dollar day. So that was my hack in trying to figure out how I could cut down on shipping costs. Now let's go into the problems of what actually happened when I shipped my candles out. <laughs> so in the beginning, I wanted everything to be pretty. I wanted you to be open the box and it would just be like this, oh, moment. And I quickly realized that that is just, that's the reason why no one else does that is because I had so many candles that showed up damaged. In the beginning, I didn't want to wrap my candles in bubble wrap. I didn't want it to, I, I just didn't like, like that feel but I quickly realized that I had to wrap my candles in bubble wrap. Not only that, but the box that I was using was actually pretty heavy because I thought that it would help from damaging the candles. And if you know anything about tin candles, you could literally drop the candle and it, it dents. So just a fair warning if you're using tins. But I kept having to replace candles that got shipped out to people. So finally I decided, okay, we, we need to do something else here. This is not working. So I bubble wrap the crap out of each candle. So bubble wrap costs money. And then I decided the box was not working. I bought these double lined packing envelopes that I would, I would buy them bigger than what I needed and I would double wrap them and plus have the bubble wrap inside, it, it just became like insane the amount of su supplies that I needed just to ship out my candles. But I will say that the candles went from, say like I was, if I was mailing like three candles out, which would have cost me like $15 if I used the box, it was only costing me around seven or $8 <laughs> um, to ship them in the envelopes. And then another hack that I found was that I was trying to cut down on how much it actually was to ship each candle out. So I started using Pirate Ship and they say that they offer a discount um, if you use Pirate Ship as opposed to just going straight to the post office. And I do feel like there was a little bit of a discount, but like when we get to Christmas time or up, like anytime like near the holidays, you'll get emails that say the US Postal Service is making sure that they're accounting for all of the extra shipping that's gonna be happening, and then they raise the prices. So, and then I also was using, it's called a Rolo printer, it's a thermal printer, so I had to buy all of the shipping labels and then it just prints it out. So I don't have to pay for ink because it's thermal, but I did have to pay for the actual shipping labels. And the printer itself was over $100. So once again, I have, a good amount of money invested in to just shipping out my candles. That does not include all the other stuff that we've talked about, including the cost of supplies that has gone like and skyrocketed, whether it be wax, whether it be fragrance oil, the wicks, anything. So the profit margin as in, and included with the shipping has just made this so unachievable for small business owners. Here's the thing, I didn't fully get away from this shipping situation just by stopping selling candles. I still give candles for gifts, like I just said for my destination wedding, I still give them as client gifts, I still give them as Popeyes, you name it. So I still need supplies for those candles. Now, thankfully, I, when I did shut down my actual candle business, I did have a good amount of supplies left over. So I have been able to kind of ride out the past six months or so on just the stuff that I have, I had in stock. But I'm slowly starting to dwindle down. Like I'm pretty sure I have no eight ounce tins left. I have no four ounce tins left. I am very low on wicks and I'm actually pretty sure I'm down to my last box of wax. And the thought of having to get the, sh the shipping on the candle supplies is completely stressing me out. Or the fact that I'm going to have to spend at least a day in going up to our local candle supply store and picking up supplies. 
And I know I haven't mentioned this, but I am eight months pregnant. That's one of the reasons why I haven't been really creating videos as much as I would like to. This has been a very difficult pregnancy. But the thought of I would need to take my newborn daughter with me on a road trip for five hours is just not happening. So I'm going to have to try and get this these supplies to last me a good bit longer. Now, like I said, I hope that I'm not the only one struggling with this. I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that have are thinking the same thing, how the supplies and the shipping costs have just been completely out of control and taken a lot of small business owners out of business. Now, if you are someone, like I said, that knows a hack, that you know how to get cheaper shipping or maybe even free shipping, please leave it down in the comment section below. I really hope that the strategies that I shared today, whether it be trying to go to your local candle supplies, even if it is a drive, trying to use pirate ship, trying to use the Rolo printer so you don't have to pay for the shipping labels from the US Postal Service and going straight there. I really hope that those strategies help and if someone does comment down below in the comment section a strategy that's working for them, hopefully that helps as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, I am pregnant. I am going to be trying to come out with more videos. It has just been a very, very <laughs> hard struggle lately, uh, but I will be coming out with more videos. So make sure that you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Hey, are you thinking about making candles in your own kitchen? You should check out this video right here. And if you would love a full playlist on where I buy my candle supplies, how to make candles, what tins I use, everything else, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.